Hello my darlings, my name is Victoria and this is Veritas Tarot. I love to do readings for love. Obviously love of another, but most importantly love for oneself because you can't pour from an empty cup, hence my cup of tea tarot. Um, and in England there's nothing that a good cup of tea and a chat and a natter with a friend can't help with. And today we're going to have that natter, that chat with spirit and see what messages there might be there uh, today for you. If it, if it does resonate, please, I'd be very grateful if you'd let me know in the comments section or like, subscribe and share. And uh, if it doesn't, please don't try and make it fit. There are lots of other fabulous readers out there on YouTube and there will be a message there for you somewhere. And you know, spirit will always guide you to to watch a reading that's meant to resonate for you at exactly the right time for you. Um, so we're going to do your Six of Cups soulmate reading. This can be for a soulmate you're in separation with or somebody you're with and you're just wanting some advice on or you know a new soulmate coming in. You'll know if the, if the message resonates with you. So I'm going to see, what, I'm going to do your headspace, heart space, what's in their headspace and their heart space then we're going to get some advice from Spirit and then I'll pull you some, a love message or two at the end. So, Libra, let's see what's in your headspace at the moment, my darling. Lots, lots and lots and lots and lots. There's too many there. So, what's in Libra's headspace? Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. What's in Libra's headspace? Just one card, please, to start. Thank you. So you've got the Four of Swords. So you, um, in your, you're very much um, in that healing time at the moment. You're very much in that quiet, reflective time. I feel like you've been in this space for quite a while because this is a very beautiful, peaceful Four of Swords. You know, you've come up through the clouds. You can see now. You've you've got enlightenment from spirit. You understand. You've you've kind of laid yourself bare, you're very open to any messages that are coming in uh, to help guide you, and you feel very protected by this cloud here, this is, you know, spirit enveloping you. So that's very beautiful. Um, but you're definitely going through a healing time at this time. So let's see what's in your heart space, my darling. What's in your heart space? Thank you, thank you. What's in Libra, there we go. Wow, <laughs> got the wheel of fortune. So that's amazing. So, so because of this transformation and this healing that you've gone through, I, you've, you've definitely gone through contrasts and we don't know what we do want until we know what we don't want. And this is one of the gifts from God in the universe. And so this is also representative, you know, for me of that sort of dark night of the soul. And it's the most transformative time for us to be in, to go through, when we go through something that makes us feel so uncomfortable and we have to look at ourselves and go through a state of real healing, you know, not assigning, um, not saying kind of, well, it's not my fault this happened, it's somebody else's fault. And But actually looking at it and understanding why things may have happened and observing it, taking a step back and saying, why has this happened for me? Ah, oh, that's why. And that is being completely guided by spirit. That's your, you know, you're going through that trauma, transformative time. But it's leading with the wheel of fortune to this extremely happy, beautiful um, beautiful time and your the wheel is turning in your favor this is in your heart space I think you feel something's happening you feel this transformation you feel this shift and change it isn't um, the water isn't flat and smooth so there are still you know there is still more healing to do but you are very much this is wonderful to see you're, you're feeling something coming in so let's see what's in your soulmate's headspace at this time and leave his soulmate's headspace. Too many cards. Thank you, thank you. One card, please, for Libra's soulmate's headspace. Thank you. One card, please. One card, please. There we go. <laughs> Got the Knight of Shields. So this is the Knight of Pentacles. This is the only knight that crosses the finishing line. They, they want to come in. They want to come in. They want to offer you something that's grounded, that's real, that's going to last a long time. They're coming through this snowstorm, so they've come through some some symbolic understanding and awareness themselves. I mean, so if you imagine that they're still, I know it's snow comes from clouds, you know, still. So you've come through and you're above and you've got this whole big picture I feel you're getting. They're still in that snowstorm, 
but they very much uh, want to come in and offer you something. And, you know, they're doing it from a place of love. Do you see the green, the green here, the green cloak he's wearing? And, you know, you've got the dragons, and I love the dragons because they're very much a sign of, of um, I'm getting growing up. And, and um, I haven't said that before about a dragon, but that's what I was told, growing up. And uh, it's about, um, you know, that spiritual protection and, and guidance and their soul guiding them. So that's very beautiful. That's in their headspace, you know, and it looks very similar to me to the Wheel of Fortune. You know, this is, you, you feel this coming in. They want to come in and offer you something, whatever that may mean to you, whether it's a, an apology, a new start, a fresh start with somebody new. I, I, let's see. Let's see. So let's see what's in, you'll know. Let's see what's in their uh, heart space for you. And you've got the Druid. So this is very much, um, this is a committed relationship or something they want to be committed with you. So either you're, you're, you know, you're in a commit, committed relationship already and there has been um, some healing that's gone on between you. Can remember, God sends in soulmates for us to help us trigger deep hurts and wounds that we don't really sometimes aware of that we actually have and um, and you're both learning from each other you're both mirroring each other do you see here as well with the snake and the egg it's all a sign of rebirth um and this is what's so beautiful and again completely guided by spirit you know it can be as well about codependency i don't see that here because you've just got this extraordinary healing and the wheel of fortune and the knight of pentacles i think whatever lessons that you have been learning together that's what's now happening they're, they're coming in which is just absolutely fabulous these you, you, you've learned these lessons you're both going through this period of of transformation together um and uh it's very very beautiful to see and they're very committed to you you know they have a huge amount of love for you they're very very committed let's see uh advice from spirit for you Advice from spirit. Thank you, thank you. What's about right, there we go? Oh wow! And I mean that's just fabulous, Libra. You've got the star card. So again, the star card. You've got the star card, which is also a healing card, just like the four of swords. But the star card doesn't come out unless you've gone through a real period of transformation and dark night of the soul. I mean. So this is very, very beautiful, completely guided by spirit. You've gone within, which is represented by the, the cave there. You've, you've gone within and, and you know that all answers lie within. If we look without of ourselves, we, we never find the answers. We only find the answers within ourselves, our knowing, our soul, our higher self through talking to us. And this is a real, this is a, a, a really amazing transformative card and it shows how much you have um, evolved you know as you know all relationships are for the evolution of your soul and this is your soul having evolved and I think it's absolutely beautiful to see and you're also understanding the connectiveness with you and everything else around you do you see here with the water and the roots and the roots of the trees so you're really understanding both your connection with your soulmate your connection with everything else around you you understand the ripple effect of of both low vibration and high vibration of yourself and and others and you know that you know you want to remain in in that space of high vibration and i mean what a beautiful card no wonder the wheel of fortune is turning on your favor so it's very very much um uh spirit is saying well done my darling well done you've you've gone through an extraordinary transformative time and that's just fantastic I, sorry, my dogs were barking, so I just had to pause the video for a second. So let's look at the Four of Swords for you and clarify that. Please clarify the Four of Swords for Libra. Thank you, thank you. Four of Swords for Libra. So you've got the Three of Cups. Um, so this for me says that whatever healing that you've gone through, it's brought about this feeling in your heart about the wheel is turning, that you're... You're beginning to come into you know that brighter period of of uh, of light you've come through this transformation of the dark night of the soul because the three of cups is about celebration it's about reconciliation it's about coming together and this is a beautiful three of cups card um, and you see here i mean what i see with this card always is that soul family again has come in to to help you um and soul family are amazing god sends 
you know, everybody we need at the right time for us to come in and give us the right, right advice, right guidance, the right message. And um, you're really feeling now, you have this joyous connection with, with many people, not just your soulmate, but you see now with the pumpkins there, there is abundance coming in for you. The harvest is beginning to come in and this is because you've gone through this period of healing and it's been a really deep healing transformation for you. And um, there's so much more to come and this is what Spirit is saying. You see these steps here, you know, you're at the sort of the bottom of these steps because we can never learn. We can never learn everything we need to learn or remember, you know, what our soul already knows. We can't learn any of it. We, we're always, you know, we're always got another step to take, another step to take. But the more we do those steps with that open heartedness and that understanding about manifestations and the wheel turning in our favor and, and understanding our connectivity to the whole of the universe, the more every step we take, the more amazing sort of surprises and delights happen. So this is very beautiful. Um, and uh, I want to see now a clarifier for the Wheel of Fortune in your heart space. Thank you. Please clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Thank you, thank you. Please clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No, oh my goodness, too many cards. I just saw the Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Please clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Well, <laughs> you have... I mean, goodness, how beautiful is this? These two cards wanted to come out on the top where they flew out. You've got both the Six of Cups and the Ten of Cups. So this really has been a journey with your soulmate, whether there is this, somebody that you are with, as I said, in a committed relationship, and there's been a, a higher level of um, commitment between you, or understanding between you, or growth between you, or is this is a new soulmate coming in because of the transformation that's happened within you, or this is a reconciliation with an old soulmate. This is really beautiful. This is your Six of Cups. And the Six of Cups also talks about the gifts that soulmates give each other. And that's the gift of learning, the gift of understanding, the gift of releasing triggers of, of you know, God will always keep giving us triggers until we learn what those triggers, why we're being triggered and soulmates come in to help us do this. But there's been, again, with the sunflowers here, you've had huge support and so have they from soul family around them. And you see as well, you're at the bottom of these steps. You've just started up these steps and you're being guided to keep going up those steps, keep moving up those steps, keep advancing towards more enlightenment, more of the evolution of your soul, because that just brings in more abundance and happiness. And you've got the 10 of cups. So you're really feeling now uh, that you've come to a space of, you know, this is this wheel, you felt there's been a shift and something Something amazing is happening and it's and this is this ten of cups. You feel a great do you know what it is? You feel a great contented contentedness about just being at the moment, about being happy in the moment. And a happy life is simply made up of happy moments. And we can't worry about the past, it's done. We can't regret and remorse, it's wasted energy. Um, if we worry about the future, we just create more of the same fear because we're just putting out fear and worry. But about being happy in the moment, that's another thing entirely. When you're happy in the moment and you're being in the moment and you're saying, I am grateful for this and I am grateful for that. Well, the universe says, do you want more of that? There you go, because the universe always says yes. So this is wonderful. Okay, so let's look at your soulmates. This is in their headspace, the Knight, Knight of Shields. Please clarify the Knight of Shields. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. There we are. So the Six of Pentacles, yes. So very simply, as I said, this is a balanced offer. This is something that's coming in. Um, it's, it's grounded, it's sure-footed, it means something. Um, it's the Six of Pentacles. So whatever they are in their headspace wanting to come in, it might be a little slow moving, my darling, because the night is the slowest moving. But I talk about the tortoise and the hare, and the tortoise always wins the race at the end. It's that slow, sure, steady pace. And we don't want to rush things like this. And so this is the Six of Pentacles. It's about a balanced, a balanced, beautiful offer of something that's coming in for you from your soulmate. And it's very heartfelt again, as I said, because he's wearing that green, he or she. I say he sometimes because there's a lot of he's in these cards, but it's your soulmate, whether they're a he or a she. Okay, so now we're looking at uh, what's in their heart space. This is... Um, 
that's in their heart space, which is the Hierophant or the Druid. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What's in their heart space? Please clarify. Thank you. Okay, well, you've got the King of Cups. Okay. I think... I think your soulmates sometimes not very good about saying things. I think they're not very good about speaking their emotions. And that's okay, because they tend to show it in other ways. But the King of Cups, he is very much sitting in his emotions. Um, he He's aware of um, manifesting of things that he's very aware of. He's very grateful about things in his life, okay? That's represented by the ships there and manifesting things that are coming in. Um, there's still some conditioned behaviour, and I always see that when I see the, 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 the pillar there, the tower there. There's conditioned behaviour that, that uh, is still keeping him sitting there and not speaking per se. But um, this is you in the background. This sort of this this is to, it's a reminder for you to be happy and joyful, and and you keep doing your thing. You just keep swimming like Dory in in Finding Nemo. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. You keep doing your thing. And you allow your soulmate to do everything at their pace because that's the great beauty about loving somebody unconditionally is that we have no expectations of them and when we allow somebody to be on their journey at their own time and divine timing then it just it releases any expectations any disappointments and we are just as you being in that moment which is just gorgeous so they have a lot of love for you there with the king of cups and they're very very focused on you. So that's beautiful. So now let's look at the star card. And already I've got the Eight of Wands has flown out. So the Eight of Wands and the star card for me says that you are now very much receiving those those receiving thoughts, as I call them, those, those messages from your soul, from spirit, from your higher self. You're being completely guided. Um, and whatever message <clears throat> that's coming in with this Knight of Pentacles for you. This is in your soulmate's headspace. It's very much, as I said, going to be divinely guided. And these these wands are all about, um, it's about acting from a higher self, from your love, from your soul. It's not about acting in any fear space, otherwise it would be the swords. So whatever's coming in for you, because of um, this incredible transformation you've gone through, it is completely, um, as it should be and there is nothing for you to fear here with your soulmate it's just a beautiful beautiful transformation that you're both going through together you know and it has come because of these symbolic endings as well so how fabulous is that libra um i'm going to just pull you uh, some love messages uh, for you but you know what an amazing transformation you've gone through and then to have this wheel of fortune come in and your awareness of it um You've got this Knight of Pentacles. You've got something amazing coming in for you, solid and long-lasting. There's great love there. There's great commitment there as well. And you've gone through such a transformation that everything now is, you know, you're receiving those messages from Spirit. And I believe it's also in relation to, to what's coming in with this Knight of Pentacles. So that's just lovely. Um, let's just give you a message from your soulmate. So uh, going back to this four of swords and this and and this and the uh, star card, they they are saying I'm sorry for hurting you. I never wanted you to feel bad in any way. So that's very lovely. Um, and uh, I've also got on the bottom of the deck. I smile whenever I get a message from you. So maybe, you know, you you're tentatively talking to each other and tentatively re reaching out uh, to each other. Um, and uh, it makes them very happy to hear from you, which is just lovely. And also, you, it, it, we've got here, sorry, I just lost that one there. I don't care how hard being together is, nothing is worse than being apart. So that's very, very beautiful. And the last card on the bottom of the deck is, I am currently working on becoming the best version of myself. So there you are, Libra. Um, I hope that resonated or helped somebody um, on their journey. Um, I hope you have an absolutely fabulous week. I look forward to speaking to you next week. And you take care, my darlings. Take care. Bye-bye.